This is the Aston Martin DBX. Yes, it's an SUV, but more importantly, it's an Aston Martin SUV. That means good looks and a sporting feel carry as much weight as off-road capability and space for a family with a dog. The good looks are delivered, but what's it like to drive in New Zealand? Well, we're about to find out. Now, this is not just the first DBX to arrive at Aston Martin Auckland, it's also the only DBX in New Zealand right now. So I won't be going off road or on the racetrack for that matter, but you've seen it do those things in the videos. We know it can. We're, we're going to drive it where it's going to spend most of its time and that, well, is on normal roads here in Auckland. In case you're wondering, the leather, it smells aston -tastic. In fact, there's so many familiar Aston touches in here. Um, the, the gear selector buttons, the, the familiar heating, ventilation, computer controls. Uh, they're all very familiar in Aston Martin. Really could say you feel like you're in advantage just with a, well, better vantage point. And Aston Martin haven't held back when it comes to standard equipment, including a full suite of active safety systems to keep you and the DBX out of trouble. Also standard in every DBX is a really impressive sound system, 800 watts. And, um, yeah. Bit of a dad joke going on there, you see. This car's built in Wales. What better sound to hear than good old Tom Jones? And the beauty is that every DBX is also standard with double glazing. So no one else can hear it. Yes. That's enough of that. Drive the car. Speaking of glass, there's also uh, this roof that's standard, the full length glass roof. And I push this button here. It takes a little while because it's the full length of the DBX, uh, but uh, it's an Alcantara curtain that matches the awesome hood lining. The first time on a car they've ever had this. They haven't worked out how to roll this fabric up before, but Aston Martin have done it and it's pretty damn cool. Well, adding to the glass roof is this feeling of space inside, huge amount of room, and a lot of that's thanks to the huge wheelbase. Because Aston Martin have made this bespoke platform, they made it how they wanted to make it. They didn't have to fit any mold, and as a result, the interior space is huge, and the glass just makes it feel even bigger. Well, along with the extra space, the fact that there's a wheel at each corner really adds to the handling prowess of this car and I've got to say the DBX really has none of that diffidence you normally feel uh, from some luxury SUVs. In fact, if I get out of GT mode where I've been and we'll go to sport mode, the one thing I want to do is hear this V8. And that's good. The one thing you do notice is how direct and agile this car feels genuinely and a lot of that is to do with what's going on underneath us right now yes there's a super strong chassis but there's also three chamber air suspension and they can raise the car up for off-road they can drop it down for sports and access along with that there's a 48 volt um, electric anti-roll bar less a bar and more like a magic wand that can deliver off-road articulation, motorway comfort or roll-free corner conquering awesomeness. I'm just actually going to go to Sport Plus now because what that does is actually helps the anti-roll bars uh, work differently front and rear to make the drive even more spirited. Dare I say it, quite sports car-like. There is an immediacy there's a real spirit to this car. I quite love it. Yeah, and I keep saying car, you forget SUV, genuinely. It just sits so well and feels so direct. And that V8 is intoxicating. 550 horsepower, 700 newton meters. And there's some serious go. And a fantastic sound. Now, helping that power do its thing, as well as the clever chassis, 
is a Mercedes source nine speed automatic transmission that goes to a center differential and generally, or most of the time, it's sending 100% of that power uh, to the EDIF in the back. So it can handle like a sports car. Let the back wheels do the driving, the front wheels do the steering and stopping. And by the way, speaking of stopping, those front discs, 410 millimeters, 41 centimeters, six pot calipers. That is some serious, serious stopping power. So I've talked about the power, the, the chassis, the drivetrain, but there is another sort of key weapon in the DBX's arsenal to make it drive like it does, and that's weight distribution. A whole lot of numbers here, but basically 54% front, 46% back, which is as close to 50-50 as you'll get for any uh, big SUV. And what that means is this car is balanced. Obviously, 50-50 is perfect. And that means it doesn't just attack quarters, it encourages you to. The numbers are of course impressive, like 0 to 100 in under 4.5 seconds and a 2.7 ton tow rating. But spend any time with the DBX and it's the way it looks, feels and drives with that understated coolness that Aston Martin delivers like no one else that carries the biggest impression. But you know, the thing that really stands out about the DBX is it's handcrafted. Every surface feels special. The other thing too about this car is Aston Martin couldn't just go and grab a platform from someone else. They had to design this car from the ground up. Everything about it is purely DBX. It's quite a challenge for a company of this size. But they've taken that challenge, if you like. They've taken those lemons and they've made lemonade. Which, you know what? They've made champagne.